everybody my name is farmer phil and today this video is going to be the setting up of our new beef business we're just in the shed where there's that no no we literally just got it tidied out and then to put stuff back in it but however so yeah the rest of this video is going to be all the building and the lead up to um announcing this will be actually the yeah this is the video that i'll be announcing we're now have a beef business where you can buy beef that we produce on the farm outside and this is this is the beginning of august probably be a good month or two or three anyways so anyways we'll get into the rest of the video just about having nothing in the shop to now the shop is finished but that's my own fault I didn't um, do what I intended on but anyways we'll put up the sign now precision ha sign hanging at the minute with the spirit level and now the sign is up Stuart family farm and there's our door in we are open pretty much open for business now so it's Friday now we're open officially Monday the first you'll see this video later on whenever I think we're ready to go on YouTube we're doing as I call a soft launch or as we call a soft launch just to try and gauge ourselves pace ourselves into it not throw ourselves into the deep end because we're new to the business but yeah sign up Stuart family farm can't go into the shop because I'm in my um, farming clothes so we'll have a look at the shop later on and yeah we're just about there now nearly ready to start selling beef to people long time waiting for it to happen but it finally happened since yesterday so we are now in the shop well I am in the shop Liv has been here since it opened so we are now officially open shop is open we have had three of our family boxes have been ordered so we'll start putting them together later on We've had our first customer come just as I come back from spreading, we finished early, so I cleaned myself, disinfected myself, and as you've seen there, I disinfected the camera to have the thing right, and so I could pick up the... Sit back, wait now, see this, oh, there's a car. Someone is coming in the avenue. <laughs> so, we've had two people call. We were after getting a phone order for a family box, which is... Well, I'll show you later on when we're, we're, well, I won't show you because we can't buy So, well, I'll show you at some stage. But we were just filling in the receipt, someone phone ordered, and we've had four, another order online, and two people came. So, yeah, happy out, happy out. You happy, Liv? Yeah. Yeah, happy out. Probably don't stand in between. Oh, push that in. So these are our boxes we are making. These are wool cool boxes. So they are sustainably, that's the big word, isn't it? When we stick down the middle of it. So they're sustainable boxes. So as you can see, they live under our arm. They have wool. So the boxes are lined with wool rather than using polystyrene or any kind of plastic foam or that. It does the job perfect. It's sustainable. It's just one of them things. Sustainability. It's the big, it's the big word, isn't it? Anyways. Yeah, we tested one and it kept it good for 48 hours, so should be no problems. So, but one like that, two pieces, then one around that side. If you do it, happen to order one of these boxes, the fleece can be used for whatever you want to use it for. 
That's one of the benefits, it's completely reusable and it's good stuff anyways. That's one more box done. So, we're getting all our boxes ready today and then tomorrow. Yeah, just lift up the camera. And then tomorrow we'll go in, we'll print off our labels and then tomorrow then they will package the meat into the boxes and send them, bring them to DPD, the DPD depot so they go straight from there out to where they were going. So it's next day delivery. Keep the thing simple, make sure the job gets done. And done in a timely fashion. Anyways, where give live a hand here. So we are currently putting up some advertisements, some signs. Uh, for the farm shops, we're putting one at this is just ahead of the road. We're putting another one down at the canal line. <laughs> we got them off more inside. Now you're recording this time. Yes, it's recording. You sure now? Yes, I am very sure. No one hit. So I think it's I think it's pretty good. The jeep wasn't in the way we could get a good look, but no, that's good. You know what you do now, come out with the kippers or something. And just keep the grass trimmed in front of us. Great job. Anyways, we'll move on to the canal sign next. So we're just leaving after getting a few spanners. And <laughs> here's Bertie here. Bertie Had to go back to get a few bits for doing the bit on the canal. Look at him. Anyways, we'll go. We'll be We have the sign nearly up. Great job, so it is. Easily seen from the canal. Also, have a look what it reads. We're quite happy with how, how it reads. So, anyways, we're literally just finished now, so happy days. Another sign up, tag him. So, We've just put up the last sign we've to put up. It's an it's an actually a lovely metal sign painted black. Stuart family farm, literally just at the entrance into the house, the farm shop. So, anyways, if you're interested, we got that sign off Mahoney Welding Services. There'll be a link in the description down below if you're interested. He he actually sent it on to us to use for the shop, and we thought that was just the right spot to put, just over the name of the house, Castle Dean. But yeah. No, really happy with that. It's just lovely the way the green kind of comes through it. Mm -hmm. Just really happy. What do you think? Brilliant. Yeah, it's lovely. So, I think that's the day's work done. So we we'll go into the farm shop now to finish off the video. Have a look at what we put in our boxes for selling and what we have on offer and the tomahawk steaks. Is <laughs> there something else? Anyways, we we'll go to the farm shop next. So we're just in the farm shop. But before we do any more, I gotta wash the paws, disinfect the camera. And, and put on the proper clothing so we'll be back in a second so now we are back all kitted out as you can see in our Stuart family farm aprons which we got off your brother and his girlfriend so big thanks to them for getting us because they are really cool really really cool so anyways we're going to have a look at what we put in our box which you can order online there'll be a link in the description down below it is 90 euro for the box Plus 15 euro delivery, so the box is 105 euro. So anyways, here's what's in the box. So what's in the box, Liv? So there's two roasts that are about a kilo each, at least a kilo each. And there's two packs of mints, which are 700 grams each. Six burgers, six quarter pounder burgers. A pack of beef strips, which Trips. are half a, half a kilo. Half a kilo. A uh, pack of ribeye steaks, there's two in there, and a pack of sirloin steaks, pack of two, and two packs of diced beef. And that's what's in our family box for 90 euro. And it is for delivery throughout Ireland, we use DPD. We also, this isn't the box it comes in. We don't have a box made up at the minute, but we're using wool cool boxes. So this is the ice packs that will be inside the box to keep it cool while it's on its journey. And also then, there's two of these one liners for lining the box which insulates it. And that's actually rated to keep it frozen for 72 hours. But any boxes ordered you'll have within 24 hours with DPD delivery. 
next day delivery literally and it's been working quite well so far because we've been up and now three weeks now and we've actually sold uh, quite a few boxes we've sold them from Cork to Donegal from Mayo to Dundalk literally all across the country and we've had no issues no complaints so if you're interested you know where to go we currently have how many boxes we have five boxes for sale on the website so go get them quick before they're all sold we have another bull coming on saturday so if anyone is interested in fresh beef and wants to call to the shop this video is for tuesday so the following saturday 27th i think we'll have fresh beef on saturday you can also follow us on instagram and on facebook at stuart family farm the website is surely stuart family farm longford it'll appear down there and there's also all the links are in the description down below you can head over there you can see what we do how we do it and everything so yeah that that's our beef we put back in the freezers now also something i want to show you that we have can't be for it's not for delivery unfortunately all we have is the family box for delivery but we have these bad boys tomahawk steaks they are something else they're a kilo it's actually a kilo steak and with the, the rib bone we have a few of them in stock you can pick up in have store five. with five of them so our beef is all frozen bar the days where we have an animal coming i suppose i'm going to tackle the elephant in the room and the one thing that is kind of on my the back of my mind the whole time for anyone that knows us they know exactly what kind of cattle we have and we have dairy beef cattle and the perception out there has always been that dairy beef cattle are not beef cattle but we wouldn't have set up this business selling our beef if we did not think that our beef was as good as any other beef on the market we have tried it we have over the years we've under fat freezing bulls where you had a maybe a, a lad broke his leg so you put him in our own freezer and we ate him we've had overage jersey bulls that were just oh mm. Some of you may remember, I think I had it on video, Sandy. So, this is Sandy, is a Jersey Bull. Pretty sure he's pedigree. Uh, he's going for the freezer now. Well, he's going to the butcher, but he's going to be going to for our freezer now. As you can see, there's very little size in him. That's why we didn't send him to the factory. Because they're, they're not going to pay you. An animal that size, they're not going to pay you. Boy, he's an absolute butter box of a little Jersey Bull. It was actually Sandy, which was an overage Jersey Bull. We didn't send to the factory because he was too light, just way too light. And we put him in the freezer for ourselves. And it was just doing the maths on him. That gave us the idea, you know, there's a, there's a few pound there for us if we can do this and we do it right. And we gave us some friends and family and they absolutely loved it. And they wanted more of it. And that was an overage Jersey Bull. Just, I suppose at the minute, what we have in stock, it's not really mentioned on the website, but we're kind of running with ideas on how to advertise and sell our beef, because it's very hard for us to say that we only feed, have Angus beef, or it's very hard to say we have Frisian beef or Jersey beef, because it really is whatever we have at the time. We cook some of it ourselves before we sell it, to double check that it is of good taste, good effort, and that there's nothing wrong with it two animals we have in the freezer are 100% Holstein commercially fed bulls that you would have seen in our shop in the yard inside our standard cattle and the next lad that's coming back is the same only he's a jersey so it really is we we honest to god we've done all the stuff we have double checked it we've given it to friends and family and they all absolutely love it and we've had no complaints from men we've sold so far and we nearly have one animal gone so you know if anyone that is watching this has bought so a box off, bought stuff off, leave a comment down below on what you think of it just to let other people know because I am fully aware that that is the hard and set, that's the hardest sell point for us is the fact that it is dairy beef and we have to get across that barrier for people to realise that it, there's nothing wrong with it and it is the tastiest bit of beef you'll ever have. There's no two ways about it, especially whatever it is about the Jersey beef. Jersey beef is just melting your mouth beef, so it is, it is I, I, honest. It's amazing. You have to try it so you do. If you want to try it, as I said, you can head over to the link in the description to the website to buy yourself a box of beef, which is there's great value there to be got. You can also call them to our store, which there'll be links in the description down below. And from now on, I'll be putting in the air code, contact details and stuff like that in the description. Leave 
is running the shop and my mother is filling in when Liv's not able. I'm, I suppose, Mr. Moonlight. I'm here and I'm not here most of the time. So sometimes you may see me, but mostly you won't see me. But if I am in the yard and someone comes and you want to see me, just let Liv, my mother, know and I'll tip in to see whoever's here. Look, we're trying to, look, we're trying to do something. Trying to get more for our cattle because everyone knows beef prices at the minute are so volatile and everything, it's just a disaster. Okay, I suppose we have a look at our blackboard with the prices of some of our cuts and what we have to offer. So minced beef is seven euro, diced beef seven euro, beef strips eight euro, burgers one fifty each or six for six euro, round roasts are fifteen euro a kilo, the family pack. Our steaks we have two, they're all sold in twos bar our super sirloins which are one big massive steak. I think we're actually nearly out of them and our tomahawk steaks you can see all there I suppose when we talk about the future of what we have planned our plans going forward are we want to get ourselves a van so that we can do farmers markets when they open up and so we can start doing some of the deliveries ourselves so people that are living within an hour's drive of us then not only will we deliver our family boxes but you'll be able to order smaller amounts of beef if you wanted maybe a few roasts and a few burgers we'd be able to go drop it off to you that's kind of our plan going forward we're just trying to keep ourselves out for a nice caddy van isn't it Liv? there's stipulations of what kind of van is allowed to be bought but anyways that's neither here nor there one of the, going for after, forward after that we're hoping to also get our hands on some smaller boxes at the minute we bought boxes that just suit the right amount of beef because you need the box to be full so that it stays frozen for long enough and we're kind of debating about buying a smaller box and offering a smaller quantity of meat for delivery across the nation it's these things it's look it's we're a star hub three weeks at it now and we just have to learn as we go and see what works and see what doesn't work and i have to say i have to now i suppose i better give a big thanks to everyone that has helped me out helped us out along the way one of the biggest inspirations and helps we got was from Wilhelm Grassbound, or that was his YouTube channel. He's a Swedish YouTuber. If he still has his channel there, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Maybe you're watching this. But he definitely gave me a lot of pointers, gave us a lot of ideas on what to do. And it was one of the big helps in getting me father on board with this because it was it was a process to get Father Phil on board, but we eventually got him around and he was such a huge help to us in getting that done. Also want to thank Tom Pemberton. He I was talking to him and he gave me some advice. Also our veterinary officer who's been very, very helpful to us in making sure that we have everything spot on with labeling and all the regulations and getting us an approve approval so we are a registered food business. Who else is there? The signs. The signs, more and signs for giving us the few signs and uh, Mooney Welding Services for making that lovely sign there that we have on the top of the avenue. It was a big thanks to all our first customers that came. All the people who bought family boxes already, the neighbours that come in and everyone that has called in to buy beef office last year. So, but we are, we're, we're, we're here now and we're, we're working away. So we have plans to expand what we offer. We're planning on putting some shelves and we're going to offer some of our eggs from our own hens. We're going to offer Honey, where Liv is after doing a bee course with long garden bees. Give them that plug too. And we have beehives bought and we're gearing up to go start having a few bees. My grandfather used to have bees years ago. And he was a big into his bees and used to sell his honey to Dublin. And we want to get back into that. We're also, as some of you may have seen from my Instagram, we've orchard nearly ready to go in. There'll be a video made on it. There's a hundred trees there to go in. And we're going to have our own fruit not this year obviously but down the road we're also planning on putting in a pumpkin patch so we're going to sow how many seeds have you bought uh, a lot. well there's over 200 seeds bought so where the plan is we're going to sow a third of an acre in pumpkins and all going well come october we're going to have a pick your own pumpkin here on at the farm all going well with COVID restrictions. If everyone goes to plan, that is the plan. We're also going to be sowing more potatoes. We're going to sow a third of an acre. So when the time comes, we will have some potatoes to sell. We're also going to grow more vegetables and stuff and try and have some for sale. And if anyone watching is from County Longford and you have some produce that you'd like to see in the shop, not non-perishable, I suppose, because foot traffic at the shop with COVID and everything isn't excessive. 
maybe is the best way to put it. So if anyone in Longford, we'll try and keep it that we're a shop that has Longford produce, local produce for people to come and buy. So if anyone's watching from Longford and has anything that they'd like to see in the shop, non-perishable goods, please let us know. We're also down the road, we'll probably get into lambs, probably buy some lambs to sell lamb meat and pigs as well. When Liv gets round to leaving her, her current job on the piggery, we'll be getting her own pigs to have her own pork as well. It's, it's all a, an expanding job at the minute, it's just beef. But going forward, we want to expand, expand, expand what we offer and expand the premises. At the minute, look, it's not very big. We have big plans. There's no two ways about it. We have big plans. We're hoping, I suppose, mate, is it a bad idea to tell it? You think it's a bad idea? Okay. Yeah, we'll stay grounded, but we have big plans if everything goes to plan. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna leave it at that. But look, I've shown you our wares, I've shown you what we're doing. As I said before, you wanna check us out. Link's in the description down below. You wanna buy beef, you wanna come buy beef, you want to order online, everything is in the description down below. I'm gonna leave it at that for today's video. Let Liv go back in. Well, we actually have to go feed calves now, so. It's just the joys of trying to do everything between being a contractor, a farmer, a YouTuber, and now a shopkeeper, even though that's more lives department than mine, but hey yo, it's the joys of the job. So anyways, that is it from us. Please like and subscribe to the channel videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Hope to see you in store or ordering online. That is it from us. Good luck.